What's up, adventurers? We noticed that one specific city was mentioned over and over again in our comments. So we made our way up to beautiful Pogradets, which is located directly on the Lake Ohrid here. Let's go and explore. Now, obviously, it's the month of September, uh, so the tourist high season is over. But looking around, you see loads of cafes, loads of beaches, and everything is there for this beach to be crowded. So I think um, if you do come in August or something like that, there will be loads of people here. But right now, it's very relaxed and super beautiful. We only just arrived here in beautiful Pogradets around 30 minutes ago. We just got a bus from the bus terminal in Korcha. Let me tell you something, this place is already blowing us away and we can't wait to explore more. Lake Ockrid is really interesting as well. It's apparently a couple of million years old. So, wow, let's do this. <music> Already something that stands out here in Pogradets is that there's a lot of construction going on. So I think they're anticipating many more tourists to come and frequent Pogradets here in the near future. Well, this is pretty random. Just casually walking along the lake itself here in Pogradets and we stumbled across this. Feels like we're in like an amphitheater or something like a, in Roman times, but it looks new. It looks like it's only recently been refurbished or something. And I feel like my voice is echoing here as well. It's strange. I feel like I'm on a stage. <gasps> to be or not to be? That is the question. That is the question. Just beside the lake here are about, I don't know, I would estimate one million <laughs> roses growing. Um, and the smell is so amazing. Uh, like it just genuinely feels like you're you woke up and you're lying in a rose. That's what it smells like here. It's super nice For a lake that's four million years old Lake Ockrid is very clean. Check this out. Just look how clear the water is All right, so walking along that lake is a bit of hungry work So we're gonna go now head to some uh, local restaurant hopefully and grab some food Let's do it. So we decided just to hit up a local fast food place. It's just called Fast Food Special. So we got some gyros, gyros on a plate, and I got gyros in a pita. So looking forward to trying this out. Quick Giro break over. <laughs> um, that was really tasty and very inexpensive. I think we paid what, like 500 lek for the two? Yeah, it was only 500 lek for the Giro pita and the Giro on the plate. Incredibly tasty meat and very fresh bread as well. Super amazing. But now we're gonna soldier on and see what Pogradets has to offer. Uh, we're currently walking towards some hills that look amazing. Check this out. I'm sure you can do a good bit of hiking around here as well. And we saw that Pogradets has a castle, but um, I think we cannot fit that into today, but another day for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be back. We'll be back one day here at the beautiful Pogradets for sure. It's already blown us away. So after that food, both of us are absolutely stuffed. So we're now we're just basically going on a walk through the streets of Pogradets just to see what the actual local area is like. And it's very cool. It's actually, one of the more 
unique settings that we have seen so far here in Albania. You do have like a lot of high rise apartment buildings mixed in with very local areas too. So um, it's very interesting just walking around and taking in the atmosphere here. Um, it's nice and look, look, as we're walking here, we just came across some dried, what is this? Dried um, chilies? I'd say chilies, peppers, plums. Yeah. Some chilies, peppers, plums. Very cool. And something again that we absolutely love about the Balkans and Southern Europe in general, you see this quite a lot. People take advantage of the warm weather and they often will leave fruit or chilies and stuff like that out in the sun and then you have some dried chilies and dried fruit and it works very well you see that with kombucha as well and i'm sure raki because we are here in the balkans too so you see a lot of raki bottles outside people trying to ferment and create their own raki recipe Let's keep walking guys, let's go check Pogradets out. It's worth mentioning guys that it costs only 300 lek per person to get here to Pogradets from the Korcha bus terminal. So very, very inexpensive and definitely worth the trip. Another thing we're noticing a lot um, is that in Korcha, it, you can already feel that autumn is coming and obviously Korcha is very high, uh, on a very high elevation. So it's, I think it's like on 850 meters or something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here you can still feel that it's still summer so like it's around 28 29 degrees in Pogradets at the moment and in Korcha you do need kind of a jacket or maybe long pants already if you want to walk around so that's really nice something to note about Pogradets as well is the vibe in general is incredibly laid back it feels like it's Sunday here but it's not it's the middle of the week it's Wednesday So strolling through Pogradets, we came back here to the lake and we stumbled across this building here behind me. Um, no idea what it is, but it looks like it's from the time of Enver Hoxha, perhaps. If anybody knows what this building was actually used for, please drop it down in the comments because we would love to know what this building used to be. Right guys, so we're back here at the lake, sitting lakeside right now, enjoying some lemon soda <laughs> <laughs> and Fanta Exotic, of course. And um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go <laughs> for a quick swim and we're gonna swim around, enjoy the sunset here at Lake Ockred. Um, let me tell you something, we both highly recommend um, you guys to come to Pogradets as soon as you can. I'm not sure what time of the year would be best to visit here, but right now it's absolutely perfect. And I'd say as we go into the winter time, it's only going to get more and more idyllic as well. And same with Korcha. But um, as far as Pogradets goes, guys, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. What about you? It's a 10 out of 10 from me as well, definitely. You should definitely come um, to Pogradets and check out this very laid back and idyllic way of living. Like, let me, sh let me turn the camera around for a second and show you our view. Like... Can you believe this? It doesn't get much better than it's this, guys. It's just insane. <laughs> it's such an ancient lake with so much history behind it. Um, and the people here are just the same as every other Albanian people. They are all beautiful, warm, friendly, kind smiles, great service as well. So we highly recommend you guys to come here to Pogradets. As we just said, we're going to go now and go for a dip in this beautiful lake and enjoy the sunset. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check this playlist out this is the rest of the albania playlist guys so make sure go ahead and click into this playlist enjoy the rest of our videos here in beautiful albania and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye
I stepped in poop.